Hey, I'm Kylie of Kylie M Interiors, online paint color consultant and e-design expert. We're going to take a look at Sherwin-Williams City Loft. As you can see, City Loft is quite a soft paint color. Now it has an LRV of 70. LRV is a number that every paint color has that lets you know how light or dark it is on a scale of 0, which is black, to 100, which is white. With City Loft sitting at 70, this means it's in between the off-white and the light range. If you have a super bright room, City Loft is going to wash out. You're going to lose the beauty of it. You will at least need a really good clean white to partner it up with so you get that clean, crisp look. We'll be looking at some whites shortly. If you have a dark room, when you're looking at grays and grayishes and taupes, you want to be careful because they can look a little bit muddy or dingy in a dark room. You really just need to improve your interior lighting uh, or you need to find a color with a little bit more color or chroma to it to help out so it rises above that the dingy level. If you want to learn more about lighting, I have an awesome blog post about it. Now regarding undertones, City Loft is a taupe, so it has a soft purple pink undertone. You don't need to be scared. It's not punchy, it's not like you're going to have purple walls, but the undertones are there. And you'll find that they actually suit many interior finishes. Now one great way to see the undertones is to do some comparison. So with comparison, you can see what you're working with, and if you're not loving what you're working with, you might see some alternatives that you like even more. So with these, I do have videos or blog posts on most of them. So if you like them, you can check those out. Now, sometimes my e-design clients are comparing between City Loft and Agreeable Gray. They're really doing different things. So Agreeable Gray is a little bit more of a grayish and it's a light depth. You can see that shift from a more typical light depth paint color to the off-white. Agreeable Gray can also pick up a wink of green and it does help us see the taupe in there a little bit better. Leaning a bit warmer is Aesthetic White. So this is more of a beige that leans a, a little bit into the gray end of things. So it really helps you see the amount of gray in City Loft. Now let's say that you have a north facing room and you're finding City Loft is looking a little bit grayish. You might bump up to something like Aesthetic White or I've got White Heron, yeah, which we'll be looking at shortly. But if you have a south facing room or a room with some really solid western sunshine, the little gray in there might help slow things down a bit so you don't have really warm looking walls, but you also don't have gray. Benjamin Moore Classic Gray, great comparison. They are really doing a similar thing, but Classic Gray takes us into the off-white range. Its LRV is going to be closer to maybe 74. It has the same tendency to pick up taupe, but shows you how City Loft has a little bit more to it. White Heron, mentioned this a minute ago. So White Heron, again, if you have Northern Light, might be a nice shift if you're finding City Loft a bit gray, but the nice thing about City Loft is that even with Northern Light, it will never look like a cold gray. It will always have that passive warmth to it. So again, White Heron, similar taupey in there, but a little bit more of a creamy approach, which I, I do love. Now, when it comes to partnering City Loft up with white, you want to be really careful. If you have an existing trim color and it's got too much yellow in it, they're not going to look so hot together. You want to be really careful. I've got Sherwin-Williams Alabaster as an example, and it's not an overly yellow white, but hopefully you can see there how the yellow in Alabaster sits a bit funky with the uh, taupe in City Loft. Not my favorite combo. You can do so much better. If we clean that up while still staying in a nice soft white range, so nothing super contrasting, we hit pure white, which is like so much better. I definitely breathe a little easier with that combination. You can see how it doesn't react so funny with City Loft. But if I'm starting from scratch and I want a nice clean contrast, and I really want City Loft to do its best work, I'm probably going to hit high reflective white. Some stores don't like making high reflective white. It's a very eh, touch and go color, but it's great because it's Sherwin-Williams whitest white paint color. So there you have it. That is Sherwin-Williams City Loft. I hope you enjoyed. Please visit me on Instagram and thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel.